Gas chromatography is commonly used to measure the level of alcohol in blood or urine samples and to carry out drug tests on athletes. Gas chromatography is so called because it uses gas as the mobile phase. The stationary phase is a non-volatile liquid, that is, a liquid with a high boiling point such as a long chain alkane. This liquid is spread on solid inert particles such as alumina or silica gel that are packed into a long coiled tube called the column. This coiled tube of small diameter and several meters in length is inside a temperature controlled oven. The coiled tube in this instrument is shown on the screen. The cylinder of carrier gas shown in the diagram is usually located outside the building and is fed into the gas chromatography instrument at this inlet. The four processes that occur in gas chromatography may be summarised as follows. The sample to be analysed is placed in the auto sample component of the instrument. The caps of the sample tubes are made from rubber that is pierced by the needle of the syringe. It is then injected into the hot column using a syringe. In practice, this syringe is automatically controlled by the software on the computer. The volume of sample injected into the instrument can be controlled by the computer. Typically, the volume is between 1 and 10 microliters. The sample is vaporised and is carried through the tube using an unreactive gas such as nitrogen, helium or argon. The gas is commonly called a carrier gas as it carries the mixture through the hot column. The components of the mixture are adsorbed to different extents on the stationary phase in the coil. Therefore, the various components in the mixture are separated out as they flow through the column. The principle of gas chromatography is that a gaseous mobile phase is in contact with the stationary phase, which is a non-volatile liquid, and separation of the mixture occurs as a result of selective adsorbance of the components of the mixture on the stationary phase. As each component of the mixture leaves the column, it passes into a detector that converts the chemical signal into an electrical signal. The electrical signal is recorded and plotted as a chart called a gas chromatogram on which each component of the mixture shows up as a peak. By studying the gas chromatogram, each component of the mixture can be identified. This concludes our study of gas chromatography.